Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the video series plugin. So if you go to, if you log into the Hello Video portal, you, you can scroll down to the bottom and you should see a video series plugin. So what you'll want to do is go ahead and click on download and that will download to your computer. And then you'll want to cop, you'll want to go ahead and open it up and then move this folder into your content plugins folder. So I have my project at sites and your site is where I have it at. So inside of my content plugins folder, I'm going to want to add the series plugin in there. And I have a virtual host set up on my machine that yoursite.dev points to this folder. So I will want to log in as my admin login. And as soon as I log in, then I can go ahead and go to my admin section, and then I can go to all plugins and I'm going to deactivate the hello plugin and you'll want to click on the activate button and then your video series plugin will be activated and if we go here into the settings you can see that we can click here to view all the video series but if we click there right now there's nothing because we haven't added anything yet so then you can uh, click on the drop down right here and you can add a title so this will you know we call it shows or series whatever we wanted to call it by default it'll be video series and then also we can add a description and I'll show you where all this stuff will go. You can also choose the URL by default. It's going to be your site.com slash series is where the route is going to be that will show your video series. And you also need a YouTube API key if you are going to leverage the uh, YouTube functionality that we have built into this plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get a YouTube API. You'll want to go to console.developers.google.com and then you can go ahead and just click on create a new project. And I'm just going to create a new project and just call this testing series. And I go ahead and click agree and create. And in just a few moments, it will create that app for me. Okay, and after that's created, then it will automatically bring me to this uh, new uh, app that I created and I want to go to APIs and auth and then I want to click on APIs and then I want to go to YouTube data API and I want to say enable API and it'll go ahead and take just a second and it'll enable the API for my key I can then click on credentials and I can click on create a new public API key so I'm going to say that I want to use a browser key and I'm just going to go ahead and leave this blank and it'll allow any URLs to access this API key. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and I will need to paste this into my YouTube API key right here and I'm just going to go ahead and save the settings. So if I click on view all video series right now we don't have anything and I'm going to add a new video series and the video series that I'm going to add is uh, it's these tutorials that are by net tuts it's basically okay it's level up tuts and I'm going to show you the YouTube functionality right now so I'm going to go to playlists so say that I want to add a playlist to my video series I can easily do that just by going to YouTube and then finding the the playlist that I want to use I'm going to use these sketch 3 tutorials so I'm going to go ahead and click on this and I'm going to pause the video and you can see up here in the URL we have the uh, list ID and this is the playlist ID so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go back in here and we're going to call this sketch 3 tutorials and we'll give it the URL of sketch 3 tutorials and you can see right here we have an image that we can upload and I have some images already set so we can do sketch normal image and then what we can also do is we can have a tall image so it's kind of like a movie poster cover um, and I'll show you you can choose which image that you want to show in the front end and also this banner image is optional it's kind of like a large banner image that will go on the series page that I will show you okay so we'll open that up and then we'll want to open up the YouTube info we want to click on the check mark that says that this is a YouTube playlist or channel and then we will paste in the playlist right here and we'll say that this is not archived and we can enter in some data here if we want to we haven't built any functionality yet for the details to be displayed but 
we will probably add that soon. So after I click create, then it go it went ahead and just created a new video series. So if I click on here, you can see that it's going to take me to that series page. And just like that, we have this whole video series and it's leveraging the YouTube API. So we go next and we could view all these videos. And then if we click on one of them, then it will take us to that episode page. And then it will also have all the videos right next to the video, which is pretty amazing. And uh, I'm also going to show you how to uh, create a video series that is not just a YouTube. So if I go back and go to my admin and then I can go back into video series and view all video series and I'm going to click on add new and I'm going to call this ret and link and I'm going to choose the image and I already have these images picked out so here is my normal image here is my tall image and I will also select the banner image Okay, and this is not going to be a YouTube playlist or channel. I'm gonna basically be the one who adds the episodes to these series. So I'm not gonna do anything with that and I'll make sure that that's not archived and then I'll click create. And now we have a new video series on our admin and if we click on this, it's not going to take us to the front end. It's actually gonna take us to the episodes where we can add episodes for this. So I can click on add new and I'm gonna look at one of their episodes. belly button song. It's pretty funny. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and I'm going to get this URL and then I'm going to go ahead and go back in and I'm going to call this belly button song. Okay, and then I can open up this uh, generate data from YouTube URL. Actually, I didn't even need to enter in this title or this URL right here. So I can then say fetch data and it will automatically get the title, the URL slug, the image, the embed source, and everything else that I need. So I will go ahead and click on create new episode. And then that episode has been created. So now if I go to my series URL, you can see that we have two video series. And if I click on the ret and link series, you can see that we have the video that we just added right here. So I can click on that video and this is gonna be the only video in there, so that's the only one on the right side. But I'm going to add one more video and I'm gonna show you that this next one, we can add an episode that is like an MP4 that you have on your own server. So we go back to admin and we go back to video series and view all video series and I click on ret and link. I'm gonna say add new and I'm gonna add a video called Big Buck Bunny. Okay, and I'm going to choose the image for this one, which is right here. And I have URLs right here for the video. So this isn't going to be an embed code, it's going to be a video file, so I can select episode file, and I can paste the MP4 here. And I know the WebM is at that location, and the OGG file. And then I can go ahead and add some info about the video. I can add a short description. And I can add the duration. I'm actually not sure how long this is, but I will just say that it's three minutes. And then I can go ahead and click on create new episode. So then if I go back to my series on the front end and I click on the retin link, you can see that we now have those two videos. So I can click on this video and it will show both of those videos and I could go from one to the other since they are an episode in this video series. Okay, and, and the next thing that I will show you is we can change some settings in the video series. So say I want to open this up, say that I wanted to use the wide image instead of the tall image, I could select wide and save those settings. And now if I go to view all video series, you see that we have the wide image instead of the tall image. And same if I go to the front end, we also have the wide images instead of the large images on there. And 
you can see here the video series, an awesome collection of video series. This is where the title is and then the description for the video series. So it's uh, very easy to install. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to post it in the forum. And uh, please do make sure that you update to the latest version of the app and also the latest version of the theme that you are using. And if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to uh, send me an email or post it in the forums. Thanks.